Hi, I'm Angie and yeah, today I want to um, talk a little bit more about the colors that I'm using. Um, yeah, because I get a lot of questions from you out there. Um, yeah, what are in uh, those bottles here? So um, I think especially in older videos, I don't really talk about the colors I'm using. So I thought today, um, yeah, I'm making just a, a video about that. Um, yeah, you've seen this, you've seen probably this. So yeah, let's talk about it. And I've made a list here, so I will not forget anything. Okay, so my, the first question usually is, what the heck is in those bottles? Um, so it's colored cocoa butter. That's the first question, super easy. Okay, moving forward. What makes the color? So in there is cocoa butter plus, um, yeah, food coloring basically. So this is solid and you will need to melt it um, so you can use it. And they actually come in these bottles. Um, I also um, yeah, started making um, yeah, my own colors and I will have a link in the description below how you can make your own colors at home, but I buy those. Um, so my favorite brands are either Chef Rubber or Roxy and Rich. Um, also have a link below. Um, and yeah, so um, most of the colors I'm using are not natural. Um, there's just like a huge, huge difference in like the vibrance um, yeah, of the colors. So if you're using um, like natural colors, they just will not pop and yeah, won't be as vibrant as like artificial colors. But I totally get if you just want to stick to the natural colors. And um, Chef Rubber, uh, those are those guys here, um, they also have a natural line. Um, yeah, but just, yeah. Like already said and mentioned, the, the colors are just not as vibrant. And the artificial colors I'm using, um, that's when you're seeing like the E numbers on the back. Um, and I think E100 to 200 um, is assigned to colors. There's a great Wikipedia page that explains um, yeah, which E number belongs to the color. Um, so I will also have a link down below. So lots of links today. But my plan for the future is, um, yeah, really to make more color from scratch. Um, so I can control what I put in and um, yeah, so, but that's just something for the future. And another big question is, um, when you buy those colors, do you need to temper them? And no, you do not need to temper them, they're pre-tempered. But of course, if you kick your cocoa butter out of temper, like um, if you heat it up too high, yeah, then you will need to retemper it. But um, yeah, if you just um, yeah stick to the proper temperature, um, then you're good. You do not have to um, temper your cocoa butter. But honestly, uh, life happens, and uh, yeah, I'll always need to retemper my chocolate because I forget it in my hot water bath or I let it too long in my microwave. So that happens. But yeah, they come pre-tempered. And another big question is, are those colors edible? Yes, of course they are edible. Um, I would never use non-edible colors. So they are FDA approved, so good to go. And another big question, uh, what makes the glitter? Uh, so I love myself some glitter, so I get why you're asking. And the glitter um, is called mica, which is actually a mineral. So that part is natural. Oh, and it's actually also something if you're using like a uh, glittery eye makeup or something that's also my god that's also the same stuff that makes a glitter so I think yeah this were all the questions I uh, noted down so this is a really short video um, if you have further questions just leave them in the comment or also if you have to add something just yeah type your stuff in the description below and um, yeah see you next time have a great day bye